Hey Taurus. First house out, third house. Communication. Gemini. Your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. I know, Taurus. A lot of changes going on. It's Aquarius season. I wouldn't say it's the season that you necessarily like too much. <laughs> you know, Aquarius is all about unconventional ideas, trying new things. Sometimes it could be a little extreme. And Taurus is used to doing things the same. Having things... Having that comfortability, that earth sign comfortability of having things the same way. So when abrupt changes like Uranus, Aquarius, are afoot, earth, Taurus, fixed Taurus, really doesn't know how to handle that at all. It could be a lot for Taurus. And Taurus... is being tested because Taurus cannot see with this 12th house energy Taurus is not able to see everything that is going on especially with Neptune and Pisces Taurus is like what the fuck is going on so this third house energy and this 12th house energy um, third, twelve. That is fifteen, which equals six. Virgo, health, routine, mutable, energy, Mars, Mars and Aries. What are you gonna do, Taurus? What you gonna do? What? How we? How we gonna play this one out? Because you can either stick to your roots. And what you feel comfortable with and how you've always done things and how you've always done things, Taurus, you can stick to that. You can if you want to. You can, but you're going to keep on running into cycles. You're going to keep, keep running into cycles. Jupiter. It's time to expand. It's time to expand on the things that you want to move forward in this new chapter. But you have to get past your own bullheadedness. And we know for Tauruses, this, this shit can be a lot for y'all, especially in Aquarius season. You will be challenged, you will be tested. You will be tested just to see if you are going to be able to keep the faith. If, if you're gonna be able to keep continuing to see what you cannot see, to push past beyond the things that are here on this earthly plane and know that your guides and everything around you got your back. But Tauruses, when they don't know what's going on, it's it's like they self-destruct. They all self-destruct. Y'all know what to do. It's like everything crumbles on top of you. It was all good just a week ago type shit. You know? But you got to use this Mars energy, this Aryan energy to keep moving forward regardless. Regardless of what's coming into your path. Regardless of what you think is, might not work or what is going to work. It doesn't matter. You got Jupiter and Sagittarius right now. We all trying to expand in this bitch. It's all about right now is the path that you are choosing. It's all about the path that you are choosing to make. You either gonna keep the faith. This is very clear cut. You either gonna keep the faith and and know that you are being divinely guided through all the obstacles that once again may come your way. 
four. Excuse it, that's a uh, dog, Taurus, actually. You don't want to hear this. It's actually trying to leave the room as I speak. Um, <laughs> and I know you don't want to hear it. It's, and it's okay that you don't want to hear it because you're stubborn as hell. I get it. I get it. I get that that's not really, you just want what you want. You want it how you want it. You see it how you see it. And can't nobody tell you shit. And that's fine. You go ahead and sit in that. But just know that the universe is going to continue to expand and move. And we want you to be on that boat. We want you to be on on the boat. We want you to be on the plane. We want you to be able to come enjoy the ride. But you got to let go. It's just some things that you are going to have to let go of. You got to keep focus keep your eye on the prize keep keep your mind on the goal ahead you can huff and puff all you want she, she huffing and puffing you can huff and puff all, puff all you want but that's not gonna change shit you know what i'm saying you either figure out a way to make it happen you know figure out a way to make it happen when i that by that i mean don't force it but let the messages come to you to make your next move. Because they will be coming. The messages will be coming. Telling you how best to make your your move. And, um, yeah, Taurus. You know. It is. Aquarius season for y'all is not going to be the easiest. I'm not even going to flex. Um. Capricorn is up that ass. Saturn and Capricorn is up that ass. We don't have no Virgo energy and we have no Taurus energy. So, what is it? What is it? Here, just go. I'm trying to get out. So, that's all I have, Taurus. I'm going I'm to let this little Taurian do his thing because she ain't trying to hear what I got to say. <laughs> so, you know what to do. This is This is a pretty self-explanatory type of reading you know what i'm saying pretty self-explanatory you know what i'm saying so what we doing taurus let me know in the comments let me know let me know let me know there's really no room we don't have any room for like maybe uh no just you either are or you not you is or you ain't so, make a choice, and I will see you in March. You know I love you, as always. Checking in, checking out. <laughs>